Hey guys, so I am doing these videos as things that I have practiced do come up. That's the best way for me to do it. Um, and so I will tell you that my pain is increasing pretty bad. So one of the things that I try to practice because it's not your fault. I don't care what it's about. It's not your fault that you're going through this any more than it's the fault of the people around you. So one of the things I do, as you can tell, my goal is to show the reality. You can see it in my face that I am hurting pretty good. So I try to get quiet so that my family doesn't think that I'm lashing out on them. You know, that's not fair to them any more than it's fair to you. And it is hard to keep your temper down when you are hurting that bad. The most I'll do is... I'll let it tear out. I will cry if it gets that bad. I'm not afraid to go to the ER if I need to, to let the pain get back under control. And I also have a rule that if I'm in bed, leave me alone. Okay, and obviously if you have young children and your partner's not home, this is a little bit more difficult. Um, however, you can still let your partner know where you're at and... You know, it's never 100% all the time, okay? Never, never. There's days where you may have 30% while your partner's only got 40. That's okay. That is okay. Another thing that I wanted to mention is if you do have people in your home who are capable of pulling weight and they're not doing it, it is going to be harder to get help from external sources. If you are a chronic pain patient, but you have somebody that is, you know, could have a job, they need to be working, it's going to be harder to get that help. And if they're not working, they need to be pulling the weight in the home that you're not capable of pulling for whatever reason. It's not morally right, and it's not fair to the other people either. If they're going to, you know, you don't always know their medical conditions, and if they know that you have somebody who's living with you who is capable but is not, you need to set some boundaries with them too. And you need to let them know that, hey, I'm not asking, I'm, we're not going to get help, you know, as long as you're not pulling your weight. And it is, a, it is a fact. I mean, I don't know anybody who has helped me that would be willing to help somebody when the people who are living with them aren't willing to help either. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is not to degrade anybody at all. Um, you know, again, ask for help. Don't be afraid to get it if you need it. But just make sure that the people that you do live with are doing everything they possibly can to help make life better for everybody that is there. Um, again, you know, show the effort. Show the effort. And it's times like this. Like my busiest time is on the weekend because I right now would not be capable of cooking and the work day for my husband is almost over and I, I can't. So that's why the meal prep is so important and to get it done when you're feeling up to it. And because I do have medication that does put me to sleep, that is one of the reasons why I choose to cook while I've got somebody at home because it's not safe. It's not safe at all. So Anyways, these are just more tips. Again, if you, you know, if you're at home, do what you can to pull your weight. If you have people who are at home as well, they need to be willing to contribute before you do reach out for help. That is only fair before you reach out to externals. It, it is only fair to make sure that they're pulling their weight as well. And it'll be easier to get the help because, again, you don't know what the, the people who are willing to help you, you don't know what their capabilities are. So if they're having to pull extra weight because the people in your home aren't, that's not right. Not right at all. So, again, it's not your fault. One of the practices that I try to do is get quiet so that I don't accidentally lash out. The only time that when I am feeling as bad as I am right now, the only time anybody's going to hear anything is when I'm expressing my symptoms and or the pain is so severe that I'm needing some needing medical attention to bring it back down, which may include an ER. Okay, so again, it's not your fault any more than it is theirs. I don't care what it was about. I don't care if this was because 
you had an unhealthy lifestyle and now you're paying for it that that's not that's not a good concept to learn either or to think either because we all have our sinful pleasures we all pick our poison so keep that in mind and again you know try not to lash out on those around you when you do start hurting try to stay quiet unless you're trying to just describe what's going on it's not their fault don't get angry at them but don't let them get angry at you either okay i hope these videos are helping and again i will show you my trusty sidekick that's what he does when he knows i'm not feeling okay that is he's he's showing depression if you guys saw that so that's another reason why he is a medical alert dog and my family and friends can tell when i'm not doing okay just by watching him he will still play and he loves chasing like really loud engines in the safety of his own yard there's even times and i i i probably won't post this on uh youtube simply because i don't want you know that much um i don't want my entire house to be seen however he'll run into his backyard and he'll chase it there which is so cute that's where he's been taught to go so he is in the safety of his yard he is a local celebrity and that does help me get through my hard days when i do hear neighbors or people that see me on the street when i do take them it helps to when i get compliments from him so I hope these videos are working. Again, this is to show the reality. I know I look pretty nat pretty pretty rough right now, but I am feeling kind of rough. So, if you do have family that's in that's dealing with chronic pain, this is to show the daily reality of what they go through. It's not easy, but it's not their fault any more than it's yours. You guys have a good day.